Hello everybody, this is X Gundam Boy. I realize it has been a long time since my last video. Here I've got my new phone, the Google Nexus One. This thing is a beauty. It is a beast. With its 1 gigahertz Snapdragon powered processor. This thing can really pack a punch. And is running Android's new 2.2 over the air update. Well, it's more of a beta update, but it's frozen yogurt. They come stock with 2.1, but I'll show you the differences. So here's my main screen. This silences it. Well, it puts it on vibrate, basically. As you can see here. Good. Turn that back on. Unsilence it. And BAM! We're going to the home screen. So this is what my home screen looks like here. Got a back key here. The menu key, so I can just click that. And like 2.1, we got live wallpapers here. I'll just show you a bunch of live wallpapers here. You guys probably want a demonstration, huh? Alright. This one's my favorite. <laughs> Seeds of Life wallpaper. It's a really nice wallpaper. I recommend that everybody go and buy it. It's only a dollar. Only one, uh, I think 99 euros, not even. It's a good deal. And this one, the Pixel Zombies live wallpaper. This thing is incredible. Love it. To the developers that made it, kudos to you. Kudos to you guys. Alright, now back to the main screen. And of course it comes with stock wallpapers like the... Not the pop squares, but the polar clock. That one's really cool. So let's go back. So I've got a few widgets running here. The main screen. But I'll show you the main difference here. At the bottom, there's a new little dedicated touch area for phones, for get, making your phone call in the browser. Now, before you had to put the icons on your desktop, like I do here. See? But now, instead of putting them on your home screen, you can just have them right at the bottom, and then you can open up your browser or pick your phone. Google's new browser is running with the V8 engine, so it's a lot faster. Let's see if I were to search. Uh, Let's do Sky. Alright, this is showing my past pages, bookmarks. Let's go back. See how fast that was? This thing's incredible. Oh, let's try loading up an image. Wow. View it full size. This thing is fast. This image ain't too small either. <laughs> Alright then. I can take you home. New thing about this is that when you hold the home button, it shows more than just the regular amount of recent items, and you can just open them up from here. See? Okay. Of course, the search button does the same regular search here. You can search the web or anything. Who? No. Delete that. Let's search her. Huh. We do stuff. <laughs> Classic. Let's go home. Uh, end some tasks here. To free up my memory. Oh damn, that doesn't look good. Now that looks a lot better. So, I'll show you some of the widgets. There's the 3 media player. YouTube. This is the new stock widget that comes. It's basically home screen tips. Really helpful, Google. Oh yes, and the 24 clock widget. Crazy. Everybody should go buy that. This widget here. Today in History. Very, very good. Lots of information that you wouldn't know about. Poor people was marching Washington. Wow. See, it's just, just a lot of stuff that people don't know. Now here we have a Facebook widget up there. Can't show you who's there. Sorry. Alright. Info. Twitter and Gadget. I love following them. Alright. And of course the app drawer is the same as before. Nice. Still got a lot of speed improvements. Right. And uh, alright, I'll show you a few of the new things. 
also in the gallery. See, there's more than one image in the in the folder. Let's go to example for pictures here. Now you see, you can still see all the pictures like before. But here's the new thing. You can use the pinch function. Whoops. Okay, not the one I wanted. Sorry guys. It's a little hard to do on the side. Well, actually, you can pinch and expand on all of them, or you can just do this. Oh, I'm failing to do it right now. <laughs> there you go. So you can pinch it out and view them however you want. Like that. Play around with it. You can spin it. It's really cool. Alright, now. The camera. It's got a few improvements of its own. See, instead of having them all on the left side and clunky as before, we've got all of the buttons here, right here. Soft buttons, you can just edit whatever you want right from the side. Yep, you can turn it to camcorder, turn it back. It's really nice. The screen looks beautiful as always. They couldn't change that with the software, <laughs> not like they needed to. Yep, this is my Nexus One. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.